If your target customer loves getting a discount and that's like part of their, their being, right? There are people who buy just because they save. If that's your target customer, then you're going to use discounts and special offers to attract them. But for most of the type of businesses that are working with me, people who are following me, just probably not you. <laughs> I say probably, but probably not your customer base. And all this does is two things. It undermines your confidence, it undermines your income stability, and it messes with the value perception of your offer. So please, please be very selective about what you're doing when it comes to discounts and promotions. The last thing that people get wrong is communication. They don't communicate their discounts and promotions effectively. That can mean that they attract the wrong audience. It can mean that customers don't actually understand that they're getting a discount. It can mean that people don't understand that there's a trade-off in there, that they're giving up some value to get the discount. There are a lot of things you can do. And all in the end, what it means is people don't actually value the discount that they're getting and they start to think that that's the real price and what they're going to be paying in the future. And if that's something that they might buy from you repeatedly, then you're anchoring them to that lower price, which is not gonna bode well for you later on down the road. With all of that said, does that mean you shouldn't ever offer discounts and promotions? Of course not. There are a lot of good reasons, but I want you to be very specific about what you choose to do, why you choose to do it, and how you do it in your business.